All right, folks, we're back from Las Vegas Open. Yeah. It was an exciting weekend. Uh, lots of fun. Oh, yeah. We had a lot, you know, lots of gaming in, lots of Age of Sigmar. Um, but before we get uh, too far into the wrap-up here, I just want to thank um, Adam from Tabletop Minions for uh, inviting us on to his, uh, his uh, live stream on Sunday. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, you were really here with me. We're on uh, Tabletop Minions live stream on Sunday. We were? Yeah, check out the film. Well, let's see here. Let's take a look. So yeah, how much larger is the attendance for a normal 40K versus kill team? Well, the 40K championship was 800-ish players. And we yeah. won that game. That's right, that game you saw playing, we won that. <laughs> but yeah, big shout out to, like, you know, we had, there was a lot of uh, yeah, there are a couple other YouTubers. Um, Jack from Rerolling Ones and one of the other guys from Rerolling Ones, and I'm sorry, I forget his name. Yeah. It's the one who's not Jack or Shoe. Um, <laughs> the other guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should have looked it up before we started filming, <laughs> but it just occurred to me because you asked me about Jack. I was like, oh, yeah, it's Jack. And he's well, like, I saw Jack there. I didn't see the other, the other one. Yeah, the other guy was uh, there the next day. Mm. Um, I unfortunately didn't get to see Jack play. Yeah. Uh, or play against it. I don't know if Adam was actually playing or whether he was just no, covering it. No, he was it. just walking just around. Just walking around. Yeah, doing stuff, so. Yeah, he did the same thing last year, I think. He oh, just yeah. walks around and records. He talks to people. He may do some of the, um, like, hobby seminar stuff. Because he's more into that. I yeah. Than actually playing. So, but I, yeah. I'm not but definitely check out um, Tabletop Minions. We'll put a link down below. Just give mm -hmm. Adam some love over there. And uh, the guys over at Rudal and Ones. Yep. Put a link in down there for those as well. But yeah, as you can tell, there was like a ton of, uh, you know... You know, internet famous people there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know what? And us, and us. <laughs> you know. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so. We played the Age of Sigmar Champions Tournament. Yes. And we played the doubles tournament on Sunday. Correct. So yes. um, I actually only went into the 40K room twice. Did you actually go in there? Yeah, just briefly once. Um, yeah, it was crazy. So that, some of the image, some of the videos you see, that's all from the secondary hall where we were. Right. There's an even bigger room. Yes, yeah, probably 50% larger. Yeah, where, where it was, 40K is it was all just 40K. Well, there was over 800 people playing 40K. Yeah. We were in a turn, 169 people were playing AOS, uh, but they were also playing a 40k narrative, Star Wars X Wing, Star Wars Destiny, Bolt Action, Bolt Action um, um, Infinity, Malifo, Infinity, yeah, a few other games, um, and the dealer's room were all in the room we were that in. That Cthulhu game, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and the dealer's room was in the, in the back there, yeah. So, so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, it's crazy. If you're going planning on going to like a gaming convention, like Adepticon and Las Vegas Open are now the two main ones to go to now. Yeah, I mean, I think Nova's getting close to what Adepticon is, but the Las Vegas Open is the biggest gaming convention in North America. Right. It's it's like twice. I, I believe it is nearly twice the size of Adepticon. Right. In number of attendees playing in the events. Right. Uh, Depicon is still huge. Yeah, it is. And it's yeah. still, and it's like, um, it's an event to go to as well. Mm -hmm. Like publishers, you know, premiere new stuff out of Depicon, yeah. something like that. Uh, we didn't get to see the, uh, the one of the coolest things was uh, the Games Workshop announcements. Yeah, GW always does a preview session there. Yeah. It was great. Peachy was there from the Warhammer TV. Yeah. Um, I'm teasing about Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was fun. We got to see, before all you guys got to see it, the... Lumineth Realm Lords. The High Elves. Whatever they're, whatever, <laughs> whatever they're calling it, the High Elves. Um, yeah, we're going to sneak peek at all that stuff. That was great. Um, we picked up some cool merch. Yeah. Got some what's the uh, what's the 40K animated show called? It's the Blood Angels one. What's yeah, it's the uh, Blood Angels thing. Um, I don't know, but we got to see the trailer for it, the first yeah. trailer. Looks awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And you mentioned something about like anthology series along the lines of Love and Robots, which if it's anything like Love and Robots from Netflix, I don't know if you saw that. No. That's crazy. Think of like, it's almost like 
like heavy metal, like you know, heavy metal mm. like movies. No, okay. As a, a anthology series or a series of of individual small short stories, cool. animated okay. short stories, in the vein of like heavy metal, and nice. like sci-fi, um, adult themed, and uh, if they do something like along that lines, I mean, just the fact that they mentioned that in the same breath of this, yeah, that'd be I'm like, oh, that is, I'm, I'm down. Whatever they want to show us. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was a blast. We went up Thursday. And we're there. We the yeah. tournament was Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday was the Double doubles tournament. tournament. Yep. Then we came back Monday. <clears throat> so and it's for us being on the West Coast or well, the West Western area. It's far right. easier to get to than Adepticon in Chicago. Yeah, it's a five hour drive. Five hour drive, four hour flight, or whatever, three or four right. hour flight, something like that. Yeah, and packing your army for a flight is rough. Yeah, especially for me with my horde army. Yep. Because I wouldn't be able to, I, you want to pack it into a carry on case. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it'd be rough. And we even mentioned this before with packing miniatures nowadays with some of the. Kind of, oh, yeah, there's so many oh. detailed, you know, little fiddly bits and spikes and stuff like that. It's really easy to break. Yeah. I broke two miniatures on the trip. Yeah. So, uh, we, so you know, it's inevitable <coughs> that it's going to happen. So I broke one, but it wasn't in transport. It was a rogue. Uh, Tape measure accident. Oh, snagged yeah. a miniature and flipped it. <laughs> oh, now mine was dropping it off onto the ground in the. It's my soul ace, and he's got this like he's holding a spirit and it just snapped the spirit. Off. Oh so, man, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like kind of a little wisp. Yeah, yeah, so it was, it was rough, but we picked up um, some uh, new paint stations. So hopefully now, for my when I do get back into my painting videos, I'll have a nice cleaner area than like the dirty old. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tore up paint everything that I had before. Uh, we got three new game mats. So yeah. When we do our uh, yeah, when, um, reports. The LVO is the end of the ITC season. Yep. And I believe what they do is they use you know whatever mats they have for the duration of the season. So all the events they do, like the Barry Aria Open and the uh, SoCal Open and things like that, they use all these mats throughout the year. And then at the LVO, when the event is done, they sell off a bunch of them. Right. Uh, so you currently <clears throat> get deals on them. Pretty, yeah. Pretty, Basically pretty got three deal. for the price of one. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. So a little, little bit more, but when you factor in shipping and stuff like that, yeah, about three yeah. for the price of one. So very cool. Picked them out and carried them out. Yep. Right off the table. Um, but yeah, we they, other than you know the cool merch and the cool games, I mean, like I said, they're playing everything. Also have, I would like. I might skip the team tournament next time to check out some of the other smaller, like they have like hobby areas. They mm -hmm. have, I mean, those are just the two big rooms, 40K and Age of Sigmar and that. Yep. Then all the other rooms are taken up too with uh, Hordes and War Machine. Hordes and War Machine, and, and there's like painting and uh, hobbying. There's all kinds of stuff there. So um, just to check it out. But uh, no, it was really cool. We had a lot of fun to see what some of the videos. Um, if you're thinking about attending something and you're on the West Coast side, you know, West Coast area, LVO is the one to check out. You yeah, know? it's definitely. And even if you're not into like the, you know, hardcore competition yet, good join a team tournament. That's really fun and not quite as, you know, Not quite as, and I guess, i would be honest, um, I think everybody goes to the tournament hoping to do well. Right. But there are people there of all skill levels who play in the Champions game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're just there to have fun, to throw out their armies that they've worked really hard on. Yeah. I mean, there were people there with Dispossessed Armies, people there with Legion of Azog Army. Yeah. Um, totally fun armies, yeah. not very competitive. Um, but, yeah. I mean, and we meet... I mean, the great thing about it is you get to meet some great people. Where I get to know some of the, the so SoCal... Gaming air guys. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I met a cool guy, Jerome from, from Paris. We yeah, played. yeah, we actually played him and his partner in yeah. the team's game. Yeah, that was a that was a fun game, and I actually played him in the uh, the championship game or championship tournament. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't anywhere near the championship game, uh, but yeah. So I mean, it's it's great. But I mean, if you want to go, you can go to, like a team tournament and then check out all the other events and stuff that are going on for the first few days and Sunday. You go to the team tournament. Yeah, but. Um, but yeah, it's great. If you're thinking about going, we highly suggest it. Um, what was the big main thing for you? What? Oh, I'm. What I like. I love the the tournament. The tournament. Getting to play five games in two days is awesome. I guess people and, you don't normally play. Yeah, people you don't normally play. Armies you may not get to see a lot. 
So yeah, the tournament was was, was great. For yeah. me, I, like I said, I, I agree. Meeting all the people, I, I actually really enjoyed the team tournament. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Um, they do need to, um, Scott, if you're watching this, uh, Scott the TO, he's really great. He does all of the he's major ITC events. Uh, this, the SoCal Open, a few others in California. That you can get, he'll play in other one, other tournaments. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he's coming to our tournament here in March. March. Yeah. Um, we'll try and have, include a link in the description. He'll come to the uh, Wasteland Games weekend in June mm -hmm. and play. So it's a lot of fun. But in the team's tournament, we really need to spread out more. There needs to be ta tables a table in between, between each yeah. team. Because two, teams, everybody. two players sitting in six feet is really challenging. And some of us players are bigger than others. So we yeah. take a little more room. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely. And that's another thing we're gonna shout out to um, in Vegas in June is Wasteland Wasteland Games Weekend. Yeah, and then uh, and then here in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, I think it's called the Arizona Game Fair. Uh, like I said, we'll we'll include a link to it. But yeah, we're gonna have a grand tournament there, run by James Howes. Um, yeah. I think that's how he says the last name. James. I haven't actually, I haven't actually asked him how you pronounce <laughs> Sorry for wrecking your name, James. Yeah, but. Um, um, it's we're already looking like we're on track for grand tournament. If we get you know just a twenty more, I think it's twenty more people beyond that, there will be a major. A so. Major, yeah. So we talked a lot of people in James was really working it. Yeah, we're working it. There. Be so hopefully, got a couple growing the major and grand tournament scene on the West Coast. You know, yeah. kind of the Southwest West area. And be sure to check out um, coming up here on this channel here. Getting back in the swing of things, um, we we'll doing some more battle reports coming up. Yeah, some more painting tutorials, some more my painting vlog. Um, and I'll gush about the <laughs> Lumineth more, Realm Lord. Yeah, we'll do more some, more book reviews. Yeah. Um, so keep an eye out, guys. Really appreciate all the support. Um, so if you haven't yet, like, subscribe. Um, if you want to check out our other game channel, uh, the bigger one, it's the Grizzled Geek. There's a link on the front page. Yeah, I'll put a link down below as well. Uh, so, well, it's gonna be all links down below. Yeah, it's all links this time. Uh, but yeah, we just wanted to give you a quick little wrap up of what happened at the LVO and the kind of fun shenanigans that we yeah that happened there. Plan so, to go next year. Yes, we'll we'll be there. We'll see. Come say hi. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.